Hey, what is up guys? In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to play chess for beginners. So I hope you enjoy and let's get started. So I'm just going to quickly show you how all of the pieces move. So I'm going to go from like least value to most value. So least we have the pawn, these guys over here, very um small, let's say. And they're worth one point, and when they're on their beginning squares, they can go two tiles or one tile. But after they go, uh, let's say black plays, they can only go one tile after that. So on their on a pawn's first move, they can go two tiles or one tile. And when there's something to take for the pawn, or when there is something that the pawn can take. Let's say, say it like that. Like, usually, like, if we click on this, this this hands, handsome guy can't take anything, as you can see. Like, there's no dot, you see? And it can only go diagonally one tile when it's something to take on that square. Like, for example, if black plays b5 here, then white can take it because a pawn can only take diagonally when there's actually something there but normally when there's nothing on that square it can't actually go there it can only go without there being somewhere uh, one tile or two tiles and it can't take when going one tile or two tiles it can't take it can only take taking diagonally The bishop is probably the most simple piece to explain. It's just, you know, it, it's just a piece. Um, it can go diagonally any square. Like, if I click on this bishop, see, this very, very handsome website over here shows me that the bishop in this position can go e2, d3, c4, b5, or a6. Just because the bishop can go anywhere along the diagonal file as long as there's nothing in the way. Like for example, in this position, the bishop can't take his own like companion, so it can't go to g so to g2 or h3 because the pawn's in the way. So it can only go along the file when there's nothing in its way. The knight unlike other pieces, is probably the more complicated piece to know out of the bishop and knight, just because unlike the bishop, for example, it doesn't just move diagonally and can take along the file. It isn't that simple. A knight, let's say e4, e5, doesn't go like a rook, which I'll explain later, doesn't go crazy, um, like this, for example. It goes two tiles up, and then a one tile to the side, so kind of in an L shape, and it can do that in any direction. Like, again, as this very, very handsome, very handsome web website gives me, it gives me these three dots showing where my knight can move. It can go here, here, or here, because look, two tiles up, to the side, to the side. And there's also one tile up and then to the side, and how it works then is just, it's the same thing technically, because if you look at it from this perspective, like if the knight was over here, then it'd be two tiles to the side and this way to go back. So it can also be this way, but the point is in an L shape, that's how a knight moves. And unlike any other pieces, if there's something in a way, in the way, like these three pawns, for example, then I can jump over the piece. Like, he could just, like, yoy over this pawn. He can just say, like, hey, pawn, I, I don't care who you are. I don't care what you come from. I don't care what, what what you're even thinking right now. I can just jump over you. And that's what knights can do. And that's what makes them a bit more tricky, because although they seem weak, they can only go, what, what is that? You say math here? Three squares, I did it. Okay, three squares. After getting to a square like G5, they can be very devastating, forking, and just doing a lot of stuff you don't want them to do. So that's a knight. The rook, along with the bishop, is also probably one of the most 
easiest pieces to understand it just moves not even diagonally like that's a, a yes a little bit tricky like mm, but th this just goes i mean is it boom bang bang and just like the bishop um if there's something in the way it can't move and if you didn't understand my bang bang theory then it just moves anywhere along the file like if there's nothing in the way this square 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 and same thing on this file this square this square this square this square this square but um in this position at least it's quite to move but this rook doesn't have anywhere to move just because the pawn and the knight are in the way and the rook can't take his own companions so the rook is just stuck in this position but let's say here and then i don't know e6 then the rook can move here or here because the pawn's now here not blocking the rook it's blocking on this square but it's not blocking it too much that it can't go on h2 or h3 so that's a rook a queen is also pretty simple um it's a bishop plus a rook which i already explained earlier this video so it shouldn't be too difficult like let's say e4 e5 um the queen can go anywhere along this file like just like the bishop here 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 and it can't jump over pieces like if um let's say this nope nope oh, nope there we go this then the queen yeah can't can't go over as you can see only one second only this square is available and let's say then we go like queen f3 and then after there's nothing blocking it the queen can also go like a rook so it's like a bishop plus a rook you can move like a bishop and a rook and the knight is the only piece that can jump over pieces so again if there's something in the way queen got a bit gotta go like sorry man i can't take you i can't kidnap you because um this handsome fellow's in the way so uh you get to live some more get it some more also p puns are owl i care about i know i'm very been waiting to use that one for a long time and last but not least definitely not least there's the king which technically it it's worth less than the queen but it doesn't it it it's not worth anything technically because it can't be taken so we're just gonna go with the king being last the king is just very simple let's say um e4 e5 again i know you're getting tired of this dumb opening e4 e5 you disgusting um then the king can go e2 and before i go further let's say bishop bishop c5 and just experimenting let's say you don't know how the king moves so when the king was on e1 the king can go this square now the king is up it can go this square this square or this square it can't go this square because the king can't be taken and the bishop would take it um but okay you know what? i'm just gonna make this simple you know you guys aren't really good with my jokes like ever so let's just say um d4 takes the king can um uh can move any square around it this square this square like these okay do some math do some math one two three four five Oh, come on, you guys don't like my jokes. Okay, fine. Eight squares. It can go eight squares max. But in this position, at least, king can only go four. I know, very sad king can only go half of its potential, of its potential IQ. And that's because the king can't be taken. In chess, the goal of the game is to checkmate, which I will later explain in the video. And you can't... You can't let a king be taken. Let's say like that. Like, king can't go here. Because then, 
let's say you could take the king, black would be able to take your king. And it's just not legal in chess to allow your opponent to take your king. The opponent can only checkmate. So the king can only go these four squares, because when it goes to here, 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 or here, there's nothing that can take it. You see, because the knight, I mean, can't, can't do magic. Um, bishop can't do magic either. Queen can't teleport. Um, and the king's just safe on those four squares. And then last, but definitely not least, I know I said this last time, be quiet for a second, guys. Last but not least, in the video, not of the pieces, there's what a checkmate is, which is like, the most important thing you need to know this video. Don't ask me why I put it at the end of the video since it's the most important, but a checkmate, you're, you're gonna be like, what are you talking about, fella? We can take other pieces, but we can't take no king? What is that? What? 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 Why can't we take the king? He's just a piece like the rest of us. Well, he's not. Let's say e4, e5, and... King e2, let's say there's a bone cloud. Um, this, this really did not prepare an opening. This is the ultra bone cloud, that's what we're gonna call it. Bang, bang. Um, bang, 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 bang. And a checkmate is one, let's say, okay, one second. Let's say, nope, it's white to move. Okay, it's white to move, that's good to know. Should have known that before, but I didn't. Here, here. Okay, let's let's just find a quick checkmate. Okay, this is gonna be difficult. Oh, here we go. Um, yeah. So a checkmate is when you check a king, and it can't move anywhere without being taken. And like I mentioned earlier, it's legally not you're legally not allowed to take in chess. So once you're checked and you can't go anywhere, you you can't go anywhere um, that doesn't get your king taken. You lose the game because wherever you get your take, you like you can't you you can't move because you can't allow your king to be taken next move. But wherever you move your king, it's still gonna be taken. So you just instantly lose since it's not legal to let your king be taken in this position at least. Checkmate didn't work. Um, the king can take the pawn because the king can't be taken by teleportation. Bishop plus knight, knight taking like rook king taking like knight the king just can't be taken and i mean soon enough there's mates i'm pretty sure no that's not mates one second let me let me um I, 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 just give me a mate please that's mate yes no let's check okay the king can still go here king can you just mate it there we go okay and that's checkmate let me explain why because if bishop takes or if king takes bishop then knight takes king, which isn't legal. If king takes knight, bishop takes king, which isn't legal. If king takes pawn, knight takes pawn, or knight takes king, which isn't legal. And if he moves here, we take it. If he moves here, we take it. If he moves here, we take it. And if he moves back, we take it. And the king can't just stay there, because then it will take it. And since it's not legal for a king to be taken, Black just wins here, so that's what a checkmate is, everybody. I know, blown minds here, insane. This needs, like, this video needs 10,000 likes for me to explain what a stalemate is, honestly. I don't know why I'm explaining what a checkmate is, honestly. I'm running out of ideas, just please, please, just comment something. <laughs> Bye.